Welcome to the Robot Program. I'm DJ Schurz. And I'm Professor E. In this episode, we're going to show you how to identify which wire is for the left or right servo if the stickers had fallen off. We'll be using JD to demonstrate it. Let's go to the studio and see what we're going to do. Here we have our JD body. And even though we've got the two connections to each of his shoulders, we don't know which one is right or left. So we're going to go through the process to find out. That's right. So the stickers must have fallen off or they just wore off. So we've got to figure out which one is what. So what we're going to do is you're on your build screen and you get to the stage where it says you have to plug your left shoulder into D3 and your right shoulder into D2. But which one is left and right? Well, let's find out. So we want you to close down your program. And then we want you to click the new button on the project. Say yes. So we're going to turn the controller on. Wait for it to boot up. There we go. Now through your Wi-Fi, you're going to see all of your Wi-Fi networks. Locate the Wi-Fi network that's called EZBV4. And it may not say JD, it may say EZBV4 and a bunch of characters. And that's okay. So select that and click connect. Now we're going to push the connect button in the software to connect to the controller. You're going to hear the connect chime. That means your computer has established a connection to the controller. Push project, add control, choose the servo tab, and then choose horizontal servo. Now what we're going to do is we're going to identify what port D3 is and what port D2 is so we can figure out the, uh, the servos. So we're going to click on the gear. We'll select D2, and we'll choose close. Now we need to identify what servo is on left or right, and we're going to use port D2 to figure that out. So let's look at our guide here, and we see that the very first port on the EZB is D0. That means D2 is going to be the third connector down. So we'll grab one of these cables, it doesn't matter which one, and we'll go one, two, three, and let's plug it into the third one down. Oh, something moved. Let's see if we are correct. Is it the right servo? Oh, look at that. Okay, so you're changing the position of the servo using the software. That's right, so I'm moving up and down and I'm just moving the minimal position which is saying, telling the servo to move. We'll plug this cable now into D3 and we'll select D3 from our software. And then again, we'll grab our minimal value and we'll scroll up and down and we can see that it's moving. So now we're manually moving the servo that's associated with the left shoulder. That's right. So how are we going to keep track of these? Well, we've printed off using our label maker fancy little letters that we're going to put on left and right. So the right servo is plugged into D2. I will label that here. So by marking them, it means you don't have to go through this process every time. Left servo will mark it as well. Now, if you don't have a label maker, you can always use masking tape or a colored uh, paint marker or something, but labeling them is a smart idea. Good. Now, this, this project that you've created, you don't have to keep that. It was just a workspace for us to figure out which servo connected to which port. So you can go ahead and close that and resume building. <laughs>